This is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, so in this episode, we're going to cover how to set up a DHCP server properly on your ICX product. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we need to enable the, um, the IP server. So in config T, uh, IP DHCP server enable. Uh, and then we're going to create a pool. So IP DHCP server pool, and we'll give it a name. We'll call it demo in this case. Uh, and then we're going to assign a network. So this is where it's pulling the addresses from, right? So in this case, 192.168.2.0. Uh, and this is a slash 24. All right, so um, if I don't put any exclusions in, it's going to give out all the addresses from the subnet, so from 1 to 254. Um, so in this case, we don't want to do that. So we are 2.1, and I'll show you that in a minute, but we're going to exclude that address. So excluded address uh, 192.168.2.1. So that's us, the router. We're also going to exclude 100 to 254. So there's really going to be 99 available addresses in this pool. So we will go 100. So that's the beginning address. And then 168.2.254 is the ending. So we're going to, we're going to exclude all of those addresses in the pool. So that's the basics of your pool, right? So we're going to have from 2.2 to 2.99 available to give out for leases. Uh, we're also going to set a DH, uh, uh, default gateway. So DHCP dash uh, default, excuse me, router. Um, we will make that us, 192.168.2.1. Um, and we'll set a DNS server. Uh, 192.168. Uh, we'll, mm, we'll make that 2.254. Uh, so there's our DNS server. So then um, we've got our pool created. We need to deploy our pool next. So um, we will do a IP DHCP dash server pool demo, and then we're going to deploy it. So we, if, if we make changes, we need to go back and redeploy. So in this case, we're going to deploy it. And then to see this, we'll do a show IP uh, DHCP server address pool demo. OK, so here's our pool called demo. Um, since last change, it's been two minutes, 10 seconds. There's no leases at the moment. It is active. Um, so we're excluding 2.1 and 2.100 to 2.254. Um, we have a default gateway of 2.1 that we're going to give to the clients. And then 2.254 is going to be our DNS server. Um, and the network is 192.168.2.0. So if I do a show IP interface, we can see I have a VE of 192.168.2.1 which is our address, right? So that's that means that we are the default gateway in this particular case, we're also the DHCP server. So if I plug a client into here, it should um, get an address in a second. And we should be able to look at that pool and see if it's given us an address. So there we go. So we now have one active lease available. Um, we could do a show uh, summary. So summary says we have one active lease, uh, we have one deployed pool, uh, we have no undeployed pools, and it's been up for three minutes and 47 seconds. Um, and we can also look at some other things like binding. So we can see my client, it, uh, it gave me 2.3 and its MAC address and the lease expiration. So 23 hours and 59 minutes. The default is 24 hours or one day. Um, and it's an automatic type. So we can set some other things beyond this. So if we were doing, um, you know, uh, something like DHCP um, auto provisioning, we could set up who the TFTP server is. We could set up the name of the manifest file to be given out by the, the uh, DHCP server. 
Um, we can also do things like domain names, stuff like that. But this is the basics to how DHCP server works, and it's um, it's pretty rock solid what's up and running. So anyway, that's it, and thanks for joining.